Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new video. We are going to take a look at the new marketing video that has been published by Sketch just yesterday and it's featuring a couple of cool things and I'm going to just look at it, capture my reaction and then we're gonna talk about it once it's over. So I uh, have to put my headphones in and uh, now we can just have a look at it, enjoy it and yeah, just stay tuned. Out inspector. Oh yeah. Check your design uh, measures. Copy the color codes. January, okay. That's next month. Assistant? <laughs> Looks like Microsoft Word. <laughs> okay. So apparently we're getting some kind of checks there, prototyping, hover states, something that's coming. Okay, what's that? Multiple courses. Yeah! It looks like we are going to get real-time collaboration in 2020. Short little clip. Uh, not sure if you have seen it before. We will look at it step by step and I will just uh, muted for the moment uh by the way really nice and like like awesome music uh for this little um clip here so uh yeah the first feature that they are teasing here is that we will get an inspector uh we have some activity right there i think that's a feature that is already available um but we can apparently also click inspector oh let me get back to it that wasn't really long though okay so we can click inspector check the artboard size, uh, get the background of it, because I guess the artboard is the uh, the like item that was selected. Um, if we like go here, we can now see that there are a couple of other informations like um, the column and gather width, and then we see that aha, uh -huh, we also get those features that we know from Zeppelin and from Figma and all these other design applications that feature design inspector or design handover features, you know. I'm happy that this is coming to Sketch because uh, Sketch is missing this feature, you know. I, of course we have Zeppelin and Zeppelin is an awesome design application. I love it, I use it every day. Um, but it's also of course very nice to have it included in Sketch Cloud. So let's continue the video. Okay, we can as I already saw in the in the first look at the video, we can copy uh, the the hex code here or choose a different one. Really easy, and it's coming. Let me go back. It's coming in January. That's next month. That's crazy. I'm very curious about it. And to be honest, I don't know if they will fully finish the features uh, by January. But I think we will get a first idea or a first like a first version of it in January. Not sure if they've managed to really f like finish the whole feature set or just release a basic version of it first. Both would be awesome uh, if they finish the, the whole feature set. Awesome, can't wait for it. But I, a first basic version would also be awesome. Okay. Now, that's interesting. Automatically check designs. What's that? Let me look at it. Assistant. Okay, we have an assistant. <laughs> and they made like a little joke here with the old Microsoft Word kind of assistant. <laughs> that thing was so annoying. I uh, I can remember, I think the first months or years of me using a real computer was filled of like doing stuff in Microsoft Word, working there or learning how to write something, etc. And this assistant was so annoying. I think you could also change it to something else that was better, but still annoying. Um, so let me uh, continue the video here. <laughs> but it's still nice that they included it. Okay, so let me go step by step through these checks here. Okay, the first one was label text too large for layer. Okay, so they replace it with a better font. Then we have a better character uh, character spacing. 
or ah okay okay i got it so then we have a way too light for button style Th that's why we get a uh, bold kind of uh, font weight and then we get the notification checks passed and we get a little a plus that's awesome so let me let me just talk about this real quick um i don't know what to say it's it's incredible i haven't really seen this before in any of the design applications that are on the market right now and i can really see that if you have like a design system for example that it will be an awesome feature to, che to check your work with this assistant and to see if your design is matching your guidelines and your rules regarding your design system or your company corporate design or whatever. So you can probably have some sort of guidelines I can imagine and then you can just test your design against those. So that's awesome, can't wait to test it out. Okay, and then we have prototyping one step further. What's that? Better sharing, hide hotspots, hover states, saved scrolling position, and models. Um, to be honest, I don't really know what that is about. Maybe you have a clue. Maybe let me know in the comment section if you know what this is about. Um, this little model thing right here. I can't really tell what it is about. Not sure if I missed something, but uh, it seems like there's some way to, I don't know, have prototyping in, in uh, Sketch or Sketch Cloud directly. And then we have the last feature, a killer feature probably, for 2020. Sketch coming with a collaboration, a real-time and live collaboration between different people coming in 2020. So I think that's probably not coming in January, but I'm definitely looking forward to that. Looks like an awesome year for Sketch users. I can't wait to test these features out to, I don't know, just see what they have in store. And of course, as always, I will make a new video once a new Sketch update comes out. So right now we have Sketch version 61. That was a really tiny update. I haven't made a video about it yet because I made one about si uh, Sketch 60. But for the bigger and like noticeable updates, I will definitely uh, make a video and review about it so you can check that out. And be sure to tune in um, with the next videos. And of course, in January, I will be here testing out the Sketch Inspector or Design Handoff. Uh, and you can watch it on my channel. So. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this video and reaction, hit the thumb up. And in, if you enjoyed it, yeah, just come back to this channel every now and then. I will post one video per, per week about like that. And we will see us in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.